Hey, a happy early morning, everybody. This is a reaction to the Boston Red Sox losing their series against the Baltimore Orioles at absolutely the worst time of the year. And the Orioles playing spoilers. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Please like and subscribe down below or at the end in the top at the widget to make it easier. The Oilers, or the Oilers, the Orioles played spoilers against the Boston Red Sox, of course, and they just didn't show up other than one game. It's inexcusable at this time of the year. The Red Sox were a great, obviously, a hot team in the first half and then just fell off a cliff um, when it came to the division in the second half. But we're still looking really pretty. Only a couple weeks ago in the wild card, then started struggle bunnying. Obviously, in this last week before Evaldi was able to step up for them on the game yesterday, they were on a four-game losing skid at the worst time of the season. Valdi steps up, excuse me, and then Nick Pavetta lays a goose egg. Pavetta did not do what you wanted him to do. He looked very sharp in the first two innings, then kind of teetered off a bit and then had to come out in the fourth um, there. So um, he just didn't really do his job today whatsoever. And you, w you really needed more out of Nick Pavetta when it came to today's ball game. He went, or excuse me, he came out in the fifth. He went four and two thirds. But even so, that still isn't good enough in a game like today. Brazier um, then came in and did all right in that inning. Garrett Richards pitched terrible. Um, he has not been that good, of uh, obviously, in this game and as much of late now at a 4.75 ERA. And then Adam Adovino actually pitched well as well as Matt Barn. But today the big thing was, again, the Red Sox could not get their offense going at all. Other than the middle game that they were able to shut them out 6 nothing with Nathan, Nathan Ovaldi on the mound, who has been the guy that's been stepping up, being that stamper, kind of that guy that's a stopper when you're struggling and has been the ace for the team the whole season until Chris Sale was able to finally come back from injury and then own it since coming back. Um, he was able to step up and at least get the Red Sox the one win so they did not get swept um, in a series coming down to the um, really breaking point of the season, a make or breaking point of the season, because they're now tied with the Seattle Mariners, who have the longest drought in baseball in making the playoffs. They are tied with them when they were once in the division race and were once sitting pretty good in the wild card race, where they could have won any of those games in that four-game losing skid plus Wednesdays, then they would have been in a much better spot. But they couldn't figure out a way to do it then, and they couldn't figure out a way to do it in this series. Um, it's definitely not a good look for the Boston Red Sox, as they were not able to figure it out with the DH in their lineup to score enough runs, minus one game against a bad Orioles team. Now they got to go a little bit down the highway to play the Washington Nationals, who are also a very struggling team, but they just lost a series to the Orioles, and they're not going to have the DH in Washington, so hopefully the lineup's able to get going, and they're able to get churning. I will do a series preview for that tomorrow, but they're going to really need this lineup to get going. And they're going to really need the pitching to step up, obviously, in that series when we already had Evaldi go just recently in this series. But it's all hands on deck. At this point, you're already basically in the playoffs to round out the regular season because you got to win every game. So I wouldn't be surprised if you do see guys on short arrest or what have you. But we'll have to see how it all ends up shaking out. But that's looking forward. When it came to this series, they just didn't show up on this one game. They showed up, uh, especially J.D. Martinez showed up in that one game in the middle, but the offense actually showed up, got six one runs for Nathan Avaldi. They only got two for Chris Shea. They only got two for Nick Pavetta, but Nick Pavetta also started off that game pitching great for the first couple innings, then really teetered off. It would have been nice if he got at least through the fifth, and looking like it early on in that game, he would potentially pitch into the sixth or seventh like you saw early season Pavetta, like I said in my preview video to this game, but it wasn't to be. Uh, the Red Sox, it wasn't to be for the series. The Oilers, or the Oilers, it's the second time I said that. I'm also a big hockey fan. The Orioles um, play spoilers here, and the Red Sox allowed them to do it. They came out flat. Their offense wasn't good enough. Uh, they were not able to get enough runs. And now they really need to show up and show out against the Washington Nationals. Otherwise, they have a chance to not even make the playoffs after being in such a great spot in the first half of the season and then being in such a great spot only a week ago in the wild card prior to going, not a great spot, but a good spot prior to going on the four-game losing skid, a much better spot than now, that's for hell sure. And then they lost it because they just lost four games, were able to win one, and then had a despicable performance again tonight. So I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. I will do a preview to the series against the Nationals tomorrow, plus talk about the how who or who the Blue Jays are playing and who the Mariners are playing so we can see 
and talk about that and see how that's going to affect the Red Sox going forward in that preview tomorrow. Everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant day. As always, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content down below or on the widget up above. Appreciate you all watching the content. Peace out, everybody, and go Red Sox. You got to answer back against the Nationals. You got to win at least two out of three, I believe, with how the Seattle Mariners are playing hot as firecrackers for the most part, and then also how the Blue Jays are playing. You're going to have to win at least two out of three and win that series and preferably go into Washington and sweep them, but definitely can't expect that with how this team is playing right now. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe.